Okay, so hello anybody new to the channel or the regular subscribers to the channel. You guys all know that I love carving wood spirits. So today we have this beautiful thick piece of cottonwood bark. So I always like to clean up the outside layer of this bark. Um, it's harder than the inside layer. And then when you clean up the outside, you can see where the cracks go throughout it and stuff like that. And I usually do that with my Fordham. I got the S4 to SR series, but to, where's my flex? Where's my industrial flex shaft gone? It's not on my Fordham SR series that spins 18,000 RPMs. Well, it's on this Dewalt um, stucco cutter or wall tile cutter. My buddy Peter Blair strikes again. So you guys know that I'm a fast carver. Okay, I love carving fast. Time is money. Time is money. But that's not what art's about. It's about having fun. But you guys know, I excuse me, I like carving fast. This spins at uh, 18,000 RPMs. This sucker spins at 30,000 RPMs. Pete's even got it wired up so I can hang it. This is the industrial Fordham flex shaft. It's got a pretty new cuts all burr on there. Yep. And Pete rigged it up so maybe I can carve faster with this... Uh, industrial flex shaft i call pete the mad scientist because pete fiddles with things like this and he has to figure it out till he's happy with it so this i'm going to do some carving with so thank you pete i can't thank you enough i ho let's hope it works and it will pete warn me if there's a weak point it might be inside here so i do have to be careful you know i can't do i can't full pressure because it is not as strong as it is hooked up this part right here right to the shaft but it is i think he's got it hooked up i don't i don't know how he's got it hooked up he just got it hooked up so let's get this sucker hung up and start carving i want to take off some of this outside bark and carve the forehead in deep with this and uh, we'll try that do a wood spirit and um, tomorrow i'm going to be chainsaw carving a bunch of logs i found on the beach today I'm going to try and do uh, six wood spirits. So I think a tool like this might be really good for me at my chainsaw carving area. But I got to remember, I can put pressure on it, but like not a 100% a, um, heavy hands. I kind of got to remember that. But anyways, let's, let's just see how she works out. Let's hang her up. Let's take this old beast down. Let's hang up this new monster. Okay, you guys can see my my uh, Fordham foot pedal there. There's my other foot pedals. So I got it all hooked up. Speed said, Pete told me it's good if this thing spins when you first start it because it will take off pressure from this inside here, right? So it's all hooked up. Let's turn her on. I'll get the camera in the overhead and uh, get her figured out. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This thing rips. Game changer. Okay, so I got my dust collector table turned on. This thing's ready to go. Now let's start carving. Holy. Oh, this thing is actually crazy. Better not get hit with this or you're going, you're going to get some big gouges. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just 
That's awesome. Boy. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I, I love it. I love it, Pete. <laughs> you guys just seen how fast that thing just carved this. <laughs> With my Fordham, that probably would have been 10 minutes. It's it's unbelievable. And you guys heard when it was bouncing? That's something that you need. That's when it's bouncing like that. That's when you need to know not to do so much pressure, right? That's lots of people say, why does my Dremel bounce? Why does my Fordham bounce? It's because you're putting too much pressure on it. Let the Let the bird do the work. I'm going to show you guys how much sawdust this table has just from that quick look. Man, the thing is just a friggin' beast. It's awesome. I love it. It's not warm here. Wow. It's all. <laughs> uh, here, I got this little strip of Douglas fir. Let's try cutting it into this because you guys know cottonwood bark super soft. But let's see this one. Oh boy, this, you guys, this is for only for people that's hooked up to this D-wall if you want to do it. Just for people with experience with this because it's dangerous. But I, I'm going to be using it all the time. <laughs> I just love it. So let's see on this piece of Douglas fir here. Oh, it's just awesome. I just, I'm going to clean up my table. It cuts through the Douglas fir like butter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is clean up my table and uh, hook up because you guys see this. Right? Come undone. So now I'm going to hook up my uh, hand piece that holds the quarter, uh, the one eighth. This is a one eighth burr, right? Cuts all flame extreme. If you want to get these burrs in the description below, let's go to the cuts all site. Use the code CFusion to save yourself 5%. But I'm going to hook up my smaller hand piece that holds the one eighth uh, extreme flame burr and finish carving this uh, wood spirit. Probably time lapse because, well, I'll start off, see how it's like how much power it has to carve it then I'll because it's not how to carve a wood spirit video okay so why I took this forehead down so much because it, when you if you start off take your forehead down so much you see where I place this this nose was a mistake but you see where I place the nose in the eyes so now it's on a downward slope now once I carve this nose out the nose is going to stick off the farthest from the face from a side view because if you look at a side view view of a human's face that's what sticks off farthest from the face is the nose so you guys practice taking your foreheads down farthest uh taking your foreheads down first before you do any carving right so anyways back to this tool you guys you know i don't know what speed these tool these fordham pieces are rated for they're probably rated for eighteen thousand um rpms for the fordham so this thing's spinning at thirty thousand rpms now you got to remember there's bearings inside here too and I don't know what these cut saw burrs are rated for either. I didn't look it up. I'm sorry. You guys can look up what are cut saw burrs rated for the speed. I'm sure they're not 30,000 uh, RPMs, you know, especially this one. When I hook up this, this is like the little pencil. One eighth burr I got on here, a new extreme flame burr. I'm going to carve the wood spirit with this Fordham. Okay. So you guys, I want to show you too. Even with your, if you've got the knockoff Fordhams or the whatever, the real Fordhams, you know, to, to un, this is this one's got a quickly release thing here, right? So it locks in place. You, this will never come undone. So, but to undo them and hook them, do them up, just run your Fordham at a real slow speed, okay? 
So I'm going to pull this back and I'm going to pull it apart. Okay. So I'm going to run it at a real slow speed and I'm going to pull it out. Okay. Boom. It's out. So I'm going to run it at a full real, instead of, because when I first started using these, I would always have to look in there and see, because I had the key drive shaft, right? I'd always look down in here, try and line it up and try and do this. Just run it real slow. Okay. See, run it real slow, pop it in, boom, it's done. I'll do it again. Run it real, run it real slow, pop it in, it's on. Oh boy, this wood's going to be fly. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's carve it with this Dewalt uh, thing here. Yep. Everybody remember this is not a tutorial wood spirit uh, carving. I'm just going to carve as fast as I was normally carve like I was not filming, okay? So we'll see how fast this sucker really carves. It's a monster! how fast I carved that in. See the nose already sticks off farther once I feather this out. Okay, you guys can see how fast it works. It just friggin' rips. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I did in about, I'd say, 15 minutes with the quarter inch and the one eighth inch. You guys, I was just talking to Pete about this because he wants to know my opinion on it. This thing's a monster. I freaking love it. I hope it lasts forever. I'm going to take it to my chainsaw carving tent tomorrow and give it a real test, but it has way too much power for just the normal key drive flex shafts, okay? That's in my opinion. Maybe not for somebody like Pete that knows how to go away softer and take his time. Not for me. If I had a normal key drive flex shaft for this Dewalt that runs 30,000 RPMs, I would break the flex shaft inside of this right away. The square drive flex shaft is so much stronger than the key drive flex shaft okay that's why i have that's why i upgraded to the industrial size flex shafts so let's get that clear so i'm just going to finish up finish this guy up i got this <laughs> peter blair sounding mandrel you guys he sells these these mandrels uh there's an email to peter blair in the link below and uh just email him i forget what the price is but because they fluctuate but he ships these worldwide, I believe. I think so. Don't hold me to it. But just look in the description below. It will. Say, if you're on a computer, it will say more. If you're on a tablet or a phone, you'll, you'll see a little arrow on the right-hand side. And hit that arrow, and a whole menu will open up for my cuts all links to get these burrs, to get this to my Amazon store. So I'm not going to be able to use this because it spins way too fast for the Peter Blair sanding mandrel. I'm just going to use my Dremel. I'm going to clean this back, clean this guy up, and call her done. It's done. It's done. And when these things spin faster too, they leave less marks. These bursts, when they spin faster, they leave a lot less marks. See, look. If it was on my Fordham, you'd see huge gouges in there. Right? Okay, I'll be back. This thing 
is a freaking monster and I absolutely love it. But if you're a very beginning wood carver, I would and you wanted to use something like this, if you're a very beginning power carver, I'd call it a friggin' nightmare. Don't try and use something like this if you don't have experience with these hand pieces and burrs like this, guys, because look how aggressive it is. It will cut it or this thing will rip you open. <clears throat> I love it, Pete. I love it. So you guys, here's the finished wood spirit I did. This thing just like uh, like I would never. Now I'll never carve a wood cottonwood wood spirit with this. Uh, sorry, one eighth bit because it's just too fast for it. A Dremel's good enough, but to remove bark and do some deep carving quick with this quarter inch. <clears throat> excuse me. Absolutely, this uh, flex shaft did heat up. So you have to watch the flex shaft because this is not used to running at um, 30,000 RPMs because I'm full throttle, guys. I'm pedal to the metal, right? Heavy hand strikes, right? So this thing did heat up quite a bit. So I'm going to have to keep a reminder of that. I'm going to be, I got, uh, went beach combing today. I got six logs. I'm going to try and carve six wood spirits tomorrow, just basic ones with no eyes. And I'm going to be taking this to my carving station, chainsaw carving station. And that's when we'll give it the true test day, Pete. But I got to remember to be light on it, not full heavy hands. Heavy hands, but not. <clears throat> it's a monster. So here it is, guys. This is a uh, Viking rune. It means uh, friendship because, well, <clears throat> to Pete from Jordy, 2021. Sign your pieces, people. Yeah, so I made this one for you, Pete. Yeah, I know you're going to be like, you don't want it. You already got too much stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know. But show your wife, and she'll be like, no, no. Your wife will want it, even if you don't want it. <laughs> I also left it, uh, and I didn't put any finish on it, because I know you like to dibble and dabble and do your own finishes and stuff like that, so you can put a finish on it, do whatever you want to do. It's yours. It's yours, so I'll drop this off at the side of your house tomorrow morning. And uh, this is a Viking rune uh, means friendship and everything that you do. You guys, I want you to know Pete um, messaged me and said, this is mine. He made it for me. He gifted it to me. This is a thing that he won cheap at an auction and he just likes to dibble and dabble. He's the mad scientist and yeah, it works. It's a freaking monster. So you guys, he gifted this to me he, and I told him I'd pay him for it. And he says, no, he doesn't want any money. So Pete's like me. He just likes to give back too, right? So you guys, um, that's it. So even if you don't want this, Pete, I'll be dropping it off tomorrow morning. Thanks, Pete. And uh, thanks for watching this video, everybody. I better cut it now before it gets too long. Carving Fusion. Over and out. Well, that didn't work.